Today we're back in my garage and we're gonna be talking about one of the recommendations we make to every homeowner when they call us up because they've just moved into a new house. We're gonna be talking again about the garage door opener. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. Now what we're not gonna be talking about today is that big security risk right here. I talked about that in another video where I show you how I actually bypass the whole garage door and get into the house in about 10 seconds. You'll notice how short mine is cut here. You need to cut that or remove it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch that video. I'll put a link to it right, right here. There, wherever, wherever uh, YouTube lets me put the link, I'll put a link to it. Be sure to watch that. But today we're going to be talking about the garage door opener itself. When you first parked your house, how many garage door openers did you get with it? One? Well, that's a problem because every garage door opener comes with two. So if you only got one, that means one is out there floating around. Also, modern cars actually have garage door opener buttons built into the mirror, so they could be programmed to open the garage door. So even if you got two remotes with your garage door, you don't know if the previous owner's car can open up your garage or not. So it's very important, no matter what your situation, to clear out all the remotes in the garage door opener, wipe them all out, and then add the ones in your possession back into the garage door opener, and then add any vehicles you have back into the garage door opener. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so here we are at the garage door opener. Now, mine happens to be a Wayne Dalton opener, but they're all very, very similar. Now, on the Wayne Dalton series, which I believe now is all owned by Genie, um, it says program. And the first thing you're going to start to do is you want to look for a button. This button is here that either says program or learn. Those are the two most popular. In some cases, some of the manufacturers put this button behind the plastic light cover. So if you don't see it on the outside like it is here, check behind the plastic light cover. Now here is a remote uh, that is set up and works with my opener. And there may be another remote out there. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear this. Now it's very easy to clear. You basically just press and hold this button for several seconds. On this, I think it's 10 seconds. And as soon as you see that light go out or flash like mine did, that means you've cleared everything out of the garage door opener. So clearing it is very easy. The button no longer works. Now you can see that it's actually receiving the signal from my button but because it's not programmed into my remote, the garage door is not functioning. Now to add this back into my system, you just press this for about a second. You, my light comes on that tells me it's ready. I hit the button. It's accepted programming. This one flashes to tell me that's accepted programming and I can just hit the and I'm back in. So that's really all there is to it. There's not a lot to clearing these out and adding those that you have back in. A couple little side notes. Um, there are universal remotes, so it doesn't matter which uh, garage opener you have, they'll work with your garage opener. We sell those online and I put a link to those down below so that you can have a look at them in case you need one. I'll also put links down below to several of the more popular garage door openers. So if you do want some more specific directions for yours, I'll have links to those down below as well. And then the last little note is we didn't show you how to program the cars because that's very car manufacturer specific. Um, so just take a look at your user manual and they'll tell you how to do that. If you liked this information, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also turn on notifications so that you'll get notified every time a new video is released. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and thank you for watching Locksmith Recommended. Locksmith Recommended.